Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the grand final edition of Talking Amateurs. Well, barely hear myself over all that noise. It is the grand final edition of Talking Amateurs, the place for your amateur footy fix on the internet. I'm Kim Morgan, Messenger Community News. And it's going to be a massive show here, grand final edition. We've wielded the big guns. We've got Gordon Armstrong, the doyen. What of about a football analysis? Look, we had the big gun all lined up. Where's he gone? Yeah, well, apparently, wasn't there? A f we're talking about Kenny McGregor. Kenny McGregor, McGregor of where are you, Ken? Are Star you of the court news or something? What's Star going on, Henley? But, uh, you made a big grand final on. You should be here. You might have got lost, Wayne Schultz, uh, Jeff's Cross Ram Star in um, that um, fire drill we just had. Yeah, yeah fire that drill. Was. There was a situation. They didn't say what the situation was, and. Maybe just got carried out with the crowd. Everyone evacuated. Was it just a bit of excitement in the building about talking over his grand final? I think it was. I think it was. It's the only place to be for your amateur footy fix. Yeah, well, we were going to film in Victoria Square, but uh, then half the crowd didn't even know what we're talking about, as per usual. So, yeah, anyway. yeah. No, that's the problem. You, you might have got mobbed as well. But, but we've so got four floors of grand final parties going on at the moment. That's why you could barely hear yourself before. So mm. uh, very exciting time, Kimba. It is, and of course the combatants, Gordon Armstrong, yep. a surprise non-combatant in Goodwood. They're gone. <clears throat> yep. Shocks doing the job. A hard fought win. Tell us all about it. Well, I'm on the bandwagon now, and I'm not sure that's a good thing. I've worn all my shock uh, colours today. The uh, double blue. <laughs> that's all I could find. That's all I've got left anyway. Hey, you've so done well, Shields. You've dressed up for the show. Too. I'm very dressed up. Yeah. Just, uh, just bring the casual line on the show. Little bring great. the corporate look in, but. Uh, Anyway, but tell us about Sacred Heart, uh, great effort last week, they were 12, 12 to 12, 11, down halfway through the last quarter, kicked the last three goals, um, Craig Tasborski, uh, great effort with seven goals, Kimbo, should be back at Glenelg. This side's got something, doesn't no, it, Shox? So They've got a bit of, uh, bit, a bit of fight. A bit of fight, but yep. um, Henley Sharks should roll the shot. So no, listen, now, we're just, oh, sorry for jumping in, I've been doing it all year and I should sack myself after the show. But um, <laughs> Sacred Hearts form against Henley, if you look very carefully, in two games, only lost by a couple of goals both times, lost at Thetford Oval where the game's going to be played by only a goal and a bit. The form's good enough. The matchup's pretty good there yep. for Shocks, you know, whereas. Henley did have Goodwood's measure. They probably might have thought Henley they'll be playing Goodwood in the grand final yep. most of the year, but it's not going to happen. We've got some big news that I'm going to reveal here, boys. Yep. Um, haven't uh, told you this off off camera. No, you haven't. Tasborski. Yep. Was due to fly out to New York. Yep. For a best for a good friend's wedding this weekend. Has cancelled his flights. Will play in the amateur footy oh, division one grand final. I did hope so. And yeah. you heard it first. I'm talking amateurs. <coughs> that that is what you say. That's, that's commitment to the team. That is a big story. Well, what you say? No, it has Borsky, No shock. Well, we kick seven. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. And you're calling for him to go to back to Brighton Road and play for the Bays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's big. Yeah. Well, that, that that is big. And, and I think that'll that'll lift the team a bit, knowing that uh, he's made that sacrifice to yeah. be part of a grand final. And, and good on grand finals. Do even one amateur grand finals don't come around. Uh, that often necessarily do you? don't know when you're going to get another chance? No, and I shouldn't have written a uh, shock off like that just before, but uh, this would be their highest finish, wouldn't it, in, in Div 1? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, never won Div 1 um, Premiership. Never made a grand final? Never, never made a grand final, never won a final up until the elimination finals, so uh, it's mm. a lot of firsts. Yeah. And of course the Sharks, well they've, they've been known for uh, also being close but no cigar in recent years. Yeah. Uh, how the, how, how's the feel going to be down there, Dwayne? You were out there midweek out at Emma? I was out there midweek, and those boys are keen as mustard just to just to, to erase the uh, bridesmaid tag a bit, you know, mm. running up second. A um, few boys there uh, in their last year. Gavin Colville's never played in a senior premiership. He lost four out of the Eagles in one last year with Henley, so he'll be keen as mustard as well to uh, lift the cup a lot. There's always yeah. stories in Grand Finals. Yeah, and, and Colville yeah. for five in GF. It's yeah, amazing. Exactly, and uh, Jason Turner, the Fitzner medalist from last week, also, we'll be looking to cap off a good season. Uh, very, very good player. Henley's got uh, class players in every line, but um, there might be just one more twist left to this uh, grand final and this season too, guys. Yeah. Before we get into our tips, let, let's just have a last word on Goodwood. Uh, dynasty uh, five flagged. Is the dynasty over now? Can we write them off? I mean, or, or do you think they'll come back mm. to the vengeance next year? No, there, there's enough talent there. Uh, they just had too many changes every week, five or six changes yep. each week. You're not going to win games, um, and it was caught out in the end. Is it the fact that uh, the dynasty tag sort of 
maybe played on the minds a bit, just thought, oh, we're good, we'll, we'll be right, we'll limp into finals a la Central Districts and, and be fine. Yeah. But their form going into the into the finals is a bit... Lost yeah. six of the last eight games, not good enough. Mm-hmm. And of course, boys, before we get into our tips, we'll be welcoming Eastern Park and Falls County yep. and the Phantoms into <coughs> Division 1 next yep. season, the expensive Port Districts and Panam Nilla Junior. Yep. Congratulations to Eastern Park. Yeah, Eastern Park, good win. Both sides would need to recruit to substantially to be a big part of the division right next year. It's a big step up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a great rise from Eastern Park. They've come from Divi 6 to, to Divi 1 in about a decade, so yeah. pretty good for them. All right, well, it's a sad time here, boys. We're coming <coughs> to the end of yeah. this great production. Who no, knows, who knows whether this will be the last show? Well, uh, I, I have, so I'm choking up. It's mainly because of the flu, but um, I'm still choking up anyway. Well, <laughs> Who are you going to put the kiss of death on? I mean, yeah. have not in the history of talking amateurs, you haven't tipped a winner in a final. No, I think I'm zero and five. I'll have to go through the old tapes. So, um, kiss of death has got to be on Sacred Heart. I'm wearing the colours. I'm an old Sacred Heart boy. So you're yeah. tipping Sacred Heart. I'm going for Sacred Heart. Did Henley pay you to do that? Yeah. Well, Ken McGregor said last week, "Do not tip us." I said, "Okay, <laughs> all right." He's a big boy. <laughs> Sorry. After they go to Sharkers, I just think too good. The week off will do them uh, the world of good. Uh, shocks and. Gallant, but um, we'll go down to to the Sharks on the weekend. I agree. Henley for mine, just peaked beautifully this year. They've got a, a quality lineup. They're well rested and they're hungry. I'm going to go for the Sharks. This is the final episode of Talking Amateurs for this season, and we thank Gordon Armstrong. Yeah, that's that's thank you, guys. Yeah, much appreciated. And Dwayne Schultz. <laughs> yeah, mid-season, uh, but happy to be here. Yes, yeah, polled a lot of three voters too, Dwayne. Well done. It's been a pleasure bringing it to you. Uh, Matthew Brading's out there, and we and hope you enjoy this grand final special. And go! The shockers. Woo! Shockers. Woo.